how to remotely back up your Samsung Galaxy S8 when it's gone missing or lost or stolen so here it is one of the requirements is to make sure that you have already um, signed in your phone with a Samsung account and that uh, you have uh, not turned off remote controls so if you sign in with um, Samsung account already by default it is um, turn on with a remote control here it is so down to uh, find my mobile so this is the remote control section now unless you uh, turn it off it should already be uh, turned on uh, once uh, once you have signed in with the Samsung account and you need also need to make sure that the phone is connected to a Wi-Fi or at least connected to the internet with mobile data on your other device uh, so if you can go to a computer or you can go to your uh, phone Android phone if you got a spare or you can borrow one from your friend and you need to uh, sign into uh, a website go to the website called findmymobile.samsung.com and from here tap on sign in Uh, after you have signed in, you can see that the network and the remote controls have the white icon. So it is uh, checking to see if the phone is connected to the internet. And it's also checking to make sure that the remote controls is turned on. Um, straight away, it will give you a battery status to let you know how many, how much uh, battery left is left on the phone. So tap on the find button at the bottom here, and then tap on back up my device from here you can see the phone can be back up to the cloud to the Samsung cloud and uh, at the moment my cloud account uh, have a maximum of 15 gigabyte so you can uh, choose that go down a list and choose what you want to uh, back up for example I can tap on the all button or the all switch and everything is selected or I can just disable all and then choose the backup phone clocks uh, as we go down the list you can see here that you can back up the home screen apps settings messages music video recorder documents calendar contacts uh, contacts from samsung account calendar samsung notes uh, the internet settings keyboard data uh, photos so there's no doubt uh, the most important things is the gallery uh, photos it may contains a lot of your family photos or even uh, phone contacts which contains all the important numbers of your friends and families so they're very important and from here you can choose what you want to uh, um, back up you can back up all if possible uh, gallery sometimes that can take quite a lot of memories uh, for, I find that gallery can sometimes contain photos and videos and they can range up to you know 30 gigabyte 50 gigabyte even so um, your iCloud only allows to have a maximum use of 15 gigabytes so if it runs out you may not be able to back up everything so I would go down the list here and back up everything first such as phone clock home screen and some documents contacts first and if and if all that is backed up and if you have some space left you can go and back up the gallery uh, the photos once you're happy with the, your selections you can um, go down the list here and tap on the backup now button tap on I agree and tap on OK and here it is backing up in progress so let's see what's happening on the phone so on the Galaxy S8 here so there is a status showing that the device is backed up. So here it says data is backed up or data back up to Samsung Cloud. So it's still showing in progress over here. So it says here if the device is turned off during the backup process, it will be stopped. So make sure uh, or hopefully if the phone is lost, no one is actually turning it off. 
so you can uh, back up if you want to make sure the phone cannot be turned off you can uh, go to this option here and tap on lock my device and here you will be able to lock the phone screen as well as the power off lock so if the power off lock is enabled then the other person will not even be able to turn off the phone so even if they try to press and hold on this button here they will not be able to turn off the phone at all everything is all locked and hopefully you can back up your phone and that's it that's how you can remotely back up your lost missing Samsung Galaxy S8 thank you for watching this video